Hello darlings, I am Cassandra. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for coming. For those of you who are new to my channel, let me introduce you to the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, the life-size fabric sculpture dolls you see sitting behind me, darling. I created these dolls myself, and as I was sewing them, they would not stop talking to me, and this led to my Jungle Beauty Goddess book series, where I've created book one, two, and three so far. I'm currently working on book four. This is a juicy, sensuous, provocative story about human evolution. It's for adults only. And the Jungle Beauty Goddess book series inspired my Jungle Beauty Goddess Oracle deck, which I am using today to talk to you about your inner thug. Thank you so much for watching. Hello, darlings. To better align your mind, body, and soul with the butterfly color that most resonates with the message you need to hear, please take a moment to participate in a brief meditation by placing the tip of your tongue at the top of your mouth directly behind your teeth. Take in a deep breath to the count of nine, hold it to the count of nine, and release it to the count of nine. Do this three times. Wait a moment to allow your mind to settle into your spirit and your spirit to settle into your body. You will feel a shift in your energy when this happens. Use your intuition to select the butterfly color or colors that resonate with your beingness or listen to each message to tap into the collective mind. Thank you so much for watching. I call on forces higher than I to unleash the wisdom I hold inside. Let this message be compassionate and true to show someone what they must do. Tap into the infinite wisdom of your own inner guide. Ask it to reveal to you what is hidden deep inside. Take what you need and ignore what doesn't apply by selecting the color of the right butterfly. Your thoughts create your reality, so please keep this in mind when selecting a pick a card message to help you define your unconscious core beliefs that may be unknown at this time. Listen to the whispers of your own inner voice and let it help you make the true butterfly choice with the lessons and insights that will help you grow and lead you in the direction that you choose to go. Let's see what the Jungle Beauty Goddesses have to say to help you find your way. The links for the butterfly colors are located in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. Hello darling, if you select, selected the red butterfly, this message is for you. So first I'm going to go over your cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand. So um, I have a collective intuition about your hand darling. And your cards are saying that never make an emotional decision. Sahara's message to you is to never make an emotional decision. I'm so excited that I know what I want to say. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Safar, and her message to you is use your imagination. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chalby. And her message to you is, let me get you in focus here. Sometimes you are your own worst enemy. And the next message I have for you is from um, the father of the matter. And his message to you is, from your inner thug, truth is power. My collective intuition about your hand is that sometimes 
mm -mm, your emotions prevent you from being able to connect with your truth so that you are able to make really good decisions so basically your car jungle beauty goddess sahara represents your throat chakra which is our ability to see the truth hear the truth to connect with um to be able to discern truth from ourselves and from and from other people and she's also a part of our rational mind to make good rational decisions so what i'm picking up from your hand is from the message from your inner thug is like, look, when you get all hyped up, you get us in trouble, y'all. You get hyped up, you say things that you shouldn't say, right? You do things you shouldn't do. You let your emotions rule you, and it is affecting our ability to have the life that we are capable of having. We are unable to reach our full potential because you are in, you know, you're just quick, quick on the trigger emotionally. And you say things that are that maybe you don't really mean or you do things that you regret so but the other aspect about your inner concern from your inner thought is that when you are immersed in your emotions you tend to use your imagination and when you use your imagination it distorts the truth so let's say for example something happens at work and you're all emotional you know how sometimes we're all caught up in a story and we exaggerate the story we embellish the story because we're hyped and we also because we can't just say well this person said this and we went from zero to a hundred so of course we have to alter the details to make our response seem you know sensible so your inner thug is saying to you look darling when you are emotional, it affects your ability to properly communicate. It then it extends to you using your imagination to embellish the story, to um, rationalize and explain our behavior. And your inner thug really wants you to dial it back because truth is power. So basically, yeah, truth is power. Being able to communicate with yourself and other people. But when we are overly emotional, sometimes we can't see that we are actually... I think you have a card that says... Let me just get the card here. Sometimes you are your own worst enemy. So the collective energy from your hand is saying... For you to your inner thug is saying to you, to you please calm down let's make good decisions let's not get hyped and emotional because this will prevent us from being able to see and hear the truth when we are not in a state of rational thinking and overly emotional and, and yeah, overly emotional we tend to use our imagination and we always see the worst case scenario which may not always be the truth so the emotions are getting in the way of you being able to really see the truth and your inner thug says truth is power your inner thug message to you darling is please calm down so that you are able to calmly dissect truth from fiction and so that you are able to make rational decisions and that you are able to see not only the external truth but the internal truth inside of you that is the message from your inner thought now I have a message from you uh, from your star alien being thank you so much for coming this is a high soul Jasper star alien being and I do have a message for you my glasses just fell I gotta get my glasses job and I'm gonna try to keep it um, your star alien being in focus so um, the message to you from your star alien being is the truth is the mightiest sword in the world never forget this humans distort the truth to create illusions to exploit, dominate, and oppress others. 
The truth can set you free and it can put you in bondage. Use your truth to your advantage. Know when someone can and will use your truth against you. A lie can become the truth if it is not told with the right forces and many times over. Wait, a lie can become the truth if it is told with the right forces and many times over. The ideology of truth is the biggest deception in the world. People will offer, let me get this in um, focus here. People will offer to exchange goods and services and favors for your truth, this is in quotes, while they hide their own intentions and agenda and their own truth to undermine your authority. To thine own self, always be true and let others prove themselves worthy of your truth. This message was so shocking to me. So basically, what the high soul star alien being is saying is that truth, you should be aware of your own truth, but also know that sometimes when people are asking for your truth, they're holding their own truth close to their heart, their own intentions, their, their own intentions, their own agenda. Um, so always be aware of that. So truth is powerful because if I have the truth and yet I keep the truth from you, it puts me in a much more powerful position. So always be a rational thinker. You know, don't be emotional because your emotions can distort your own truth and your ability to protect yourself. Um, in the Harry Potter uh, series, I'm, I'm, I'm currently reading book five. I'm an unspoiled reader, so please don't tell me anything. But basically, I remember in book one, when I became a Harry Potter fan, at the end of book one, Harry Potter, Potter asked Dumbledore something about, he said he wanted to know the truth about what happened to his parents. And Dumbledore said something to the effect is that the truth could be a horrible and a terrible thing or something along those lines. And I remember my heart sank. Like, oh my God, because he was saying like, when you ask for the truth, you don't even know what you're asking for sometimes. But your inner thug is telling you to please calm down so that you can know what your truth is so that you do not use your imagination to distort the story to where it can become a disadvantage to you. And don't become your own worst enemy by being alienated and disconnected from that truth. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darlings. If you selected the red tiger butterfly, oh darling, this reading is for you. From your inner thug. Ooh, so excited. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then give you my collective intuition about the message from your inner thug. The first card I have for you from your inner thug is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And she says to you, your destiny is what you decide to do. Katara represents our root chakra, our connection to our community, our culture, um, our life purpose, our mission on the planet, child. And your destiny is what you decide to do. This card is telling me that your inner thought wants you to connect with your shadow self, your past mistakes, to create a life that is beautiful and exciting and different and challenging and something that the world has never seen before. I don't know why, but for some reason I'm feeling that your inner thought wants to do something that has never been done before. I don't know if it's writing a book, I don't know if it's painting, but I don't know. But for some reason I feel that your inner thug wants to take different worlds and put them together. So, you know, just want to create like a sort of a a new type of art, a new type of food, a new type of dance, something new. So you so what I'm thinking is I want you to think about your childhood. I want you to think about all the things you love, like um, your favorite 
dishes, your favorite candies, your favorite TV shows, your favorite comic books, your favorite toys. These are all clues as to what you need to put together to create something new that is fun and exciting. Your inner thug really wants you to break free from convention, break free from what has already been done. And the clues to how you're going to do this is by looking at your your culture, your background, how you grew up. Um, one thing that just popped in my head is your inner thug wants you to think about what you used to do in elementary school that got on the teacher's nerve. So if you were the class clown, then maybe you are the next, you know, um, Eddie Murphy. You are the next um, Chris. I, mean, I don't know. If, I'm thinking Chris Tucker. Um, but anyway, basically, um, whatever you used to do as a child, that is a clue to what you need to do in the future. So if you used to, you know, doodle on the desk all the time and you you were always taught, you know, you were always asked by your teachers to stop doodling or to stop reading or to stop painting. Go back to go back to the early parts of your of your childhood and I want you to think about what you did that was considered quote unquote bad because that is really your clue to what your inner thug wants you to tap into to tap into creating something fun and exciting in the future and the next card I have for you from your inner thug is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sayonara and during a beauty goddess cyanide's message to you from your inner thug is you don't oh my god listen you don't need a reason to have fun so if you don't need a reason to have fun this means that whatever it is you're supposed to do in your life is like if 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 work isn't fun then it isn't your calling sort of a speak so if you are enjoying what you're doing then that is fine. You don't need a. You don't need. Sometimes people feel like, okay, I'm gonna have fun if a. You know, after I'm off the kitchen floor, after I clean up, after I do my homework, after I do A B C D, um, I'm going to have fun. But your inner thug is saying fun should be incorporated into who you are as a person. So if you don't enjoy what you're doing, you're not having fun. So when I'm making a doll. That's heaven, okay? It's, it's pure heaven. When I am teaching in the classroom with my students and we're having that moment where I can just feel like it's like this shh, that's heaven. When I'm doing my YouTube videos on and I'm, you know, and I'm in the zone and I just feel good, that's heaven. I'm having fun. Like, I don't need a reason. I don't need to separate my purpose from what I love to do you know what I'm saying when Beyonce is on stage I'm quite sure she is having fun she doesn't need a reason to express the depth of her persona of her personality of her gifts so basically your inner thug is telling you to tap into the things you love to do in elementary and to particularly pay attention to the things you got in trouble for I don't know why that popped in, popped in, but that message popped in. And then understand that connect those things that you used to love to do, that you enjoyed, and that is going to be a part of you creating the destiny of your life. That You're going to have so much fun and so much... You know, anyway, the next card I have for you from your inner thug is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you from your inner thug is Perfection is the enemy of ingenuity. That makes so much sense. So listen, if you are the best person who can make, I mean, if you made the best spitballs in elementary school or the best paper airplanes, you know, that's all that matters. You don't have to worry about well 
am I as good as ABC? Am I, am I as good as this person over here? No, that's not your concern. It's none of your business. Trying to be perfect, it stops you from being creative. You may say, well, you know what? I'm going to come out with the next, you know, hairband. Or the next, you know, I'm going to design wigs. I'm going to design dolls. I'm going to design, you know, outfits for Barbie dolls. It doesn't matter. because. But if you're worried about being perfect or being like everyone else, um, that's going to suppress your ability to be extremely creative. And I find that it's just so fun. Listen, your inner thug really wants you to write that song that nobody likes but you. Your inner thug wants you to maybe, you know, do graffiti and do something fun and not worry about if it's good enough for anybody else to see. Your inner thug wants you to tap into your imagination. Your imagination is your ticket to your dreams. It is the pathway. It is the, it is the highway. It is the way to your dreams. So, again, just to recap a little bit, your inner thug needs you to go back to elementary school and think about what you used to do that used to get on everybody's nerve. Maybe you were a class clown. Maybe you um, you are the next Eddie Murphy. Maybe you were the person who could speak the best. Maybe you were the class president. Maybe you were the person who could um, do your homework the fastest. Or you were really, well, I don't know, it's something that you used to do in elementary school that is really a clue to who you, to your um, inner thug's destiny. That is That is the key to this hand. The next card I have for you from your inner thug is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Sahara, who represents your throat chakra, which is responsible for telling the truth, seeing the truth, knowing the truth, speaking the truth, being able to discern the truth. It's connected to your ability to communicate with yourself and others. And she says, speak your truth. So, mm, listen. Your inner thug has a voice, and your inner thug wants to be seen, and your inner thug wants to be heard. Your inner th I, I got a feeling that your inner thug is, is bursting with this idea that everybody else thinks is kind of crazy, or maybe a little dark, or that, you know, people are just wondering, like, why would you want to do something that's stupid, or it doesn't make sense to anybody. I'm telling you. That crazy video you've been thinking about, do it. That book you've been thinking about writing, do it. Yes. You want to go back to school to start a petting farm? Do it. Listen, your inner thug is that little, it's that little mischievous kid in third grade who was always like squirming in his or her seat, who was so excited because you were just so so curious about life that is what your inner thug wants you to tap into so your inner thug says look I know the teachers told you to stop talking or stop running or stop playing pay attention and this part of you was um, oppressed so you could fit into society and you kind of forgot about that part of you so you just decided to do things that are conventional but your inner thug is saying your destiny is what you decide to do, child. Forget what other people are saying and that you need to like really have fun. Like that is the ticket. So whatever you were doing that was fun and everybody told you that it was wrong, your inner thug is saying you don't need a reason to have fun, okay? Um, so it wants you to tap into that and also it doesn't want you to worry about being perfect it wants you to use your imagination and understand that sometimes our first attempts at our ideas that they're not always perfect but you're on the right pathway but to tap into your imagination and to tap into that part of you that is curious and life spirited where all of your your fantasies and ideas are rich in your imagination your inner thug wants you to go there and play and have a good time bring those ideas back to this world child and the other card we have is from Jungle Beauty Goddess 
Sahara who's telling you to speak your truth. We want to hear your Tupac song, okay? We want to hear, we want to hear that, we want to, that song, those words, those lyrics. We want to see that artwork. We want to see your dance. We want to see this part of you that you have been hiding because you have been trying to fit into the world ever since your teacher told you to stop doing it in third grade, okay? So I do have a message for you from your star alien being. I'm your Peter Side being, and I'm going to give you that message. Your past is your groundwork work for the future you. The parents you chose, your neighborhood, your teachers, your friends, and the surrounding culture, such as your television shows, music, and celebrity icons are all a part of who you are. Your inner thug is the sum total of all of the elements of your past with a wild card that paves the way for the future so that life continues to evolve. Your inner thug is the remix, the outcast. You are here to revolutionize and bring a fresh perspective to what has already been said and done. Tupac revolutionized the word thug, but he didn't create it. Study your icons, your favorite artists. Look for the missing um, stories, lyrics, colors. You are here to see what is missing and add your unique expression to the fabric of human life on earth. Your inner thug needs you to take note of what is and create a new destiny by expressing your truth. And some of the ideas that are coming through is um, critic, commentator, reviewer, and political analysis. These are some of the things that you may possibly be good at. So that is what I have for you from your inner thought. You know what's kind of interesting about being a political analysis or a reviewer or, or a um, critical analysis is that it is kind of a bully to kind of tell people what they're doing wrong or right, isn't it? Or I don't want to say bully, but kind of like a, yeah, it's an intellectual thug, you know, to tell people to you know to critique other people's work or to critique and you know, other people's ideas but that was pretty that was, that was interesting to me so maybe you were that person in third grade who was quick to tell the teacher that what you thought of her and the lesson plan and everybody else and maybe you were put down for that but maybe that would be a really good way for you to express yourself and help everybody evolve and grow from seeing the world through your truth I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello, darling. If you selected the purple, beautiful scale butterfly, this reading is for you. So first, I am going to go over the cards. And then I am going to give you my collective intuition about your hand. So the first card I have for you, it is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib. And Jungle, Debu ah, Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you is, Your soul signed up for this mission on earth. Find the lesson to help you evolve. The next card I have for you, is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Chabi and her message to you is some friends are really enemies and some enemies are really friends. The next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar and Jungle Beauty Goddess Afar's message to you is start where you are with what you have. And the last card I have for you for the message from your inner thug is from Demeter, who is the father of the Jungle Beauty Goddesses, who it represents dark energy, uh, dark matter and energy. And his message to you is, 
love is the most powerful force in the universe. So let me just tell you what my collective intuition is about this particular hand. I feel like you have made some mistakes when you were young and you've maybe hung around the wrong people. You've done some things that you feel bad about, but the universe is asking you to let go of your past, to forgive yourself. Your inner thug wants to be forgiven. Your inner thug wants unconditional love. Your inner thug wants unconditional support. And your inner thug wants you to let go of the mistakes of your past. So um, one of the things that I'm picking up from this hand is that when you were young, you, or maybe, I'm not going to say you were young, but maybe at some point in your life, it just seems like you may have been around um, some people, you may have participated in some activities, but you've done some things that you, it really wasn't your best self, and you really, you know, feel like you made, made a mistake. And sometimes when we make mistakes in life, we feel like we have forfeited our ability to teach others. So sometimes when somebody, you know, dropped out of school, they are apprehensive about telling other people, you know, you should go to school. Or sometimes when someone thinks that they have been a bad parent, I mean, uh, uh, sorry, not maybe a bad parent, but right now I'm thinking about someone who has made a lot of mistakes in life. Sometimes they don't feel qualified to gear their children in the right direction. And what I'm picking up from your hand is that maybe you have made some mistakes in life. And these mistakes have stopped you from reaching your full potential because you feel that people are going to look at you and say, how dare you tell me what to do when you da 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 How are you going to tell me to be in a healthy relationship or to leave this person when you have never had a healthy relationship? Or how can you tell me to go back to school when you don't even have a degree? You know, it's that type of thing. So what I'm feeling is you're the inner thug. You know, basically that part of you that has made some mistakes. So this is the key thing I want you to remember about the inner thug. As I said in the introduction, the inner thug, your inner thug is not just the victim, but it's also the victimizer. You are a rebel with a cause, which what that means is, yes, you have made some mistakes, but those mistakes are your gifts to the world. And one of the ways for you to forgive yourself is to understand that you are always the teacher and the student simultaneously. So basically you make a mistake and you think, oh my God, how could I have done something like that? Or how could I have, you know, why did I know better? But because we only see one slice of the piece, uh, one slice or one little tiny piece of the cycle of life, we don't see the role that we're playing to help someone else. So maybe you make a mistake and you teach other people not to make that mistake or you become smarter. That obstacle becomes a lesson that you teach other people. So the big picture is, yes, you have some friends are really enemies and some enemies are really friends. I'm getting the feeling that you've made some mistakes in the past, but these mistakes weren't really... Um, life threatening. These mistakes are things you should forgive yourself for. These mistakes were a part of your past to help you to move forward in your journey to be able to help other people because every thug is a transformation figure whether it's in a family, in society, or a relationship. So just remember that. So that so the thug energy is the energy of dramatic change. That is the way I would look at it and that's the way I would that's the way I perceive it for you really strongly. And in order for you to capitalize off of your previous mistakes, you really need to forgive yourself. Love is the most powerful force in the universe. And sometimes when people make mistakes, they feel like they need to punish themselves. They feel like, well, because I haven't been perfect or because I may have cheated or because I, you know, dropped out of school or because I've done A, B, C, D, it's like there's a part of you that is holding back from 
loving yourself completely and fully. And the reason that is so difficult to do is because we live in a world where people want to see that you are suffering in your mistakes, suffering in the pain of your mistakes. You know how sometimes if you tell somebody you're sorry and you look happy and they just feel like, well, you know, I, w I want you to walk around and I want you to um, look like you made a mistake for the rest of your life. And that's just not the case. So you love is the most powerful force in the universe. You need to absolutely 100% love yourself deeply and intensely. Um, in the description box, I'm going to list a self-love candle that is so bomb. I'm wearing the self-love spray, it's a self-love soap. You will see, see that you will start to feel, oh my God, so much love for yourself. I, I know that's what I'm feeling. So long story short, um, you really need to figure out, um, I don't want to say, how to love yourself more, forgive yourself for past mistakes, use those mistakes as lessons and stepping stones to move forward in your life. Start where you are with what you have. That's the card you have from Jungle Beauty Goddess um, afar. So we can't start over. You know, we don't get to, we don't get do-overs in the real world. Have you ever noticed that? Like we make mistakes and we just wish we could take that moment back. When we're not supposed to take that moment back, we're supposed to learn from that and we're supposed to gain insights to become stronger and better so don't look in the past to you know wishing things were different start where you are with you with what you have um meaning that if you the knowledge and the wisdom that you have acquired from those mistakes that is what you have and that is what you use to move forward love yourself unconditionally and then the card you have that is very interesting is your soul signed up for this mission on earth find the lesson to help you to help you evolve so if you you know dropped out of school and now you are thinking you should go back to school like find the lesson in your past mistakes your inner thug says look you can't find the lessons and in your past mistakes until you love and accept yourself unconditionally. Um, so I do have a message from you, for you, from your star alien being. I don't want to get lipstick. Thank you so much for coming. Um, so we're going to go ahead with the message here, which I actually downloaded earlier. I'm going to try to keep them in focus here. You can't start over and remove all of the lessons that made you who you are. You must start where you are with what you have. Ask your higher self, why are we here? What did I sign up to contribute to life on planet Earth? People who bring about change are people who have been baptized by fire. Don't um, deceive yourself by trying to be someone that you're not. Use the stepping stones and obstacles of your past to build the bridge of your future. Embrace love and accept your inner thought. Everything has happened to you as an opportunity to shine your love light. Take accountability for your past and be the change that you seek. There is no such thing as a mistake or failure. Only humans see it this way. Every action moves you forward to personal evolvement. This is, this is why the universe does not allow do-overs. Only insight without judgment. You only see tiny pieces of the puzzle of your beingness. Your life mistakes are being used to teach others humility, forgiveness, and patience. You are always the teacher and the student at the same time. So um, this is the message from your star alien being. I was able to do my reading and, and off camera because sometimes the message doesn't come through as quickly when I'm actually on camera. So a lot of it got muddled together. So forgive me for that. But anyway, I really hope this reading helped you. I hope you can embrace and love, you know, thugs need love to each other and love your inner, embrace and love your inner thug. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Hello darling. If you selected the burgundy butterfly, this reading is for you 
from your inner thug. I am so excited. So first I'm going to go over the cards and then I'm going to give you my collective intuition about your hand. And the first card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara. And Jungle Beauty Goddess Katara's message to you from your inner thug is define yourself design your world now my collective intuition from this card is that you are well first of all katara represents our root chakra which has to do with our purpose and our connection to our ancestors to our community to our culture to our heritage um, our mission on the planet sort of a speak and I am picking up that you are like the black sheep in your family in the sense that you want to do something that may not be conventional or it's something that your family is used to. You might want to be a YouTuber. and I mean, how do you tell your mom who thinks you should go to college, Mom, I want to be a YouTuber or I want to be an artist or better yet, I want to be a poet, okay? So... <laughs> Um, but when you define yourself and design your world, this means that you're going to step out or look within yourself to find this journey to who you are, to what you love to do. And it may be, it may not be in alliance with what your family or your community or your culture expects from you, but it's going to be something you're going to have to do in order for you to design the world that you were um, born to create and just you know when I think about things like um, family guy these are people who design worlds or people who create books um, comics cartoons writers artists it's it's like you there you always create two worlds even like um, Sometimes rappers, like, I, you know, they, the world that they are projecting to society is not always the world that they were raised in. Um, so one of the things about your inner thug is that the thug is a, is a persona or a being who is able to live in two worlds, The but they choose to express themselves through their shadow self, okay? So that means like when you think about Tupac or you think about a rapper or you think about somebody who has this bad girl or bad boy image um, who is, you know, spitting all these truths and telling the world how they really feel. If you've thought, you know, um, I can't believe I was born into this family. Maybe I was adopted or maybe if your family have been telling you, I don't know where you come from, child. I don't know where you come from because you you know you're here to define yourself and design your world you're here to figure it out for yourself and to do something that's unconventional and I have a feeling that it may be tied with expression through your shadow self people think your shadow self is just this part of you that you're supposed to just own but what you're really supposed to do is incorporate that part of who you are into um, your daily life so that you are a whole being like no one can be successful just being a good person I mean and when you think about the cartoons like there's Clark Kent who turns into Superman or the Hulk you know there's always these two personas because you know sometimes we can be too nice for our own good or you know we give people what works and when you're at home with your family isn't going to work when you're working on a construction site or when you are working in the classroom or when you are trying to save somebody's life and you have to make tough decisions so this is why we always have these two worlds because you know we can't always be the same person for every situation the next card I have for you is from Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib who represents our crown chakra and Jungle Beauty Goddess Namib's message to you is trust oh my god I love this so basically you have the card that says um, define yourself design your world meaning that you have to look at what it is that you really want out of life 
and you have to trust the universe trust yourself trust that your life is going to unfold in a wonderful and beautiful way trust your higher self trust that you are not a mistake and and even though you may not be like everyone else and even though you may not have a, a dream that is conventional and easy to accomplish like other people trust that you are meant to be different and that you are meant to be here so this trusting the universe trusting something bigger than you the next card i have for you is from jungle beauty goddess kalahari who represents the heart chakra and jungle beauty goddess kalahari's message to you is how do you feel about it your feelings matter so basically so far putting everything together it feels to me like your inner thug is saying we are different and we have a different journey um, we need to define ourselves we need to find our own voice we need to find our own way and we need to trust that way and when it says how do you feel about it your feelings matter what this car is really saying is you know it's not so much of what your family think about you or what society thinks about you but how do you feel about it? How do you feel about, you know, um, what it is you really want to accomplish? Or if you want to be a poet, or if you want to be a YouTuber, if you want to be a baker, if you want to make jewelry. How do you feel, like, have you ever explored your feelings about your place in the world? And that is really like, how do you, your feelings matter. Your opinion about you is the most important opinion in this entire universe in terms of, the direction of your life so your inner thug is saying look we you know we got feelings you know I got feelings your inner thug wants you to get into your feelings okay get into your feelings and figure out how to express express your truth the next card I have for you is from again you're pulling in a Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari and Jungle Beauty Goddess Kalahari's message to you is whatever the question love is the answer so basically once you explore your feelings your guy should be doing what you love like if you're thinking I want to do this because I'll make X amount of dollars and um, or I'm doing this because I have summers off or I'm doing this because it will make my dad happy or my mom happy or society happy or it's going to be easy because people say that they're going to be a bunch of fields opening up in dentistry even though that's not what you really want to do then that's not the that's not the gauge you should use to figure out how to do define and design your own world what you need to do is look within your heart and let love be the answer because you have the card that says whatever the question love is the answer so I am feeling that you need to I, you know I hate to say this when you look at our when we look at our feelings you know the reason people don't like feelings is because feelings can be they get a bad rap because they can be positive and negative but you know when people say I'm in my feelings it means that I'm you know I'm not trying to be rational I'm not trying to be politically correct I'm trying to be honest with myself I'm trying to look within my heart and see how I really really feel about this thing and when you do that it may not be the prettiest sight y'all it may not be the sight that most people are going to even be comfortable with you know what I'm saying so look within your heart and just get really honest with yourself and let love be your guide if you love it that you can trust that okay if you love whatever it is you want to do wherever it is you want to go whatever you want to unfold in your life let love be the guy and trust that it is leading you in the right direction this is what your inner thought your inner thug is saying look i want let's get into our feelings okay so we can figure out how to express um our true emotions our true feelings our true thoughts about this world and our place in it 
I also have a message from you, from your, oh, it's heavy. <laughs> Thank you for coming. From your star alien being. And I'm going to go over this message for you. Try to keep my hands steady. But it's, sometimes it's difficult, to be honest. Okay, so the message from your star alien being, I'm gonna, just gonna hold this right here. Um, express, here we go. Express yourself through creative activities. Listen to songs with a message that inspire you. This will stimulate your, this will stimulate your creative juices. Graffiti, arts, your inner thug desperately needs artistic expression, but this can only happen when you are aware of your feelings and trust the universe to guide you to unveil your unlimited potential. Sorry. Take a creative writing class, a painting class, a dance class, etc. Don't be afraid to look foolish or write a song that no one likes but you. Get your focus that no one likes but you. Change one thing about yourself that symbolizes your connection to your inner thug, such as an earring, a piercing, a tattoo, a piece of clothing, something that reminds you of your own new identity that you are designing. Write a song about this item. Include a dance move and a story about the type of person who would wear this item that re represents your inner thought. Do this daily for seven days to give life to your new identity and unleash your inner thought. I thought that was such a great idea. Isn't that fun? So anyway, I that is the message from your inner thug. Your inner thug wants you to connect with your feelings, with your emotions. Your inner thug really needs you to express through your shadow self. Um, your star alien being um, suggested that you come up with some type of artistic expression of your inner thug that will open up your creative juices and create this life of fun and excitement for you. I really hope this reading helps someone. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.